Hello everybody, and welcome back to Grand Chess Before. Last time we took on the Japanese 1970s event, and in this one we're going to be taking on the Japanese Compact Car Cup. And to do so, we're going to be bringing out an old car. From the time we did the regular Compact Cup, the Honda Beat. I don't know if this thing will do good in this event. Hopefully it will. And hopefully we can just make this more of an easy episode. So let's see. Japanese events. Japanese Compact Cup. Five races. Qualifies, because, well, they qualify for the Compact Cup. It's got to qualify for this. Oh, it's a championship. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta see this. I did not realize Japanese compact cars actually qualify, because I maybe actually use something. I should use something better, obviously, but. I gotta see this. A Fit, a Demio, a March G, a Colt, and a 1.5. Let me see if this thing would even be good. Oh, it's still gonna do good in this race. I just gotta be sure to actually catch up. Okay. This thing is like super compact. Yep. All right. Two laps on Motegi. Okay, so already it's kind of underperforming a little bit. Maybe it's because I'm not using slipstream enough. But this thing is not performing as well as I want it to. I think what I'm going to do quickly is go and purchase an actual car for this event. Also, that's not the... <laughs> okay, I saw the pink car, and I thought it'd be an infamous Gran Turismo car, but no, it's not. It's not the pink Vitz, it's the pink Honda Fit. It's the second best thing you can get. Anyways, let's go to the used car dealership, because I'm going to try and get a hatchback now that I know that those actually qualify for this. Well, certain hatchbacks. Okay, let's see. I don't actually know if there's a hatchback you can get from here, but... Oh, there goes, there goes a Vitz. But I do have an idea. So, sorry for this tiny little delay, but I want to see something. Okay, I know I have a Miata. Let me see if I can find a good one. Demio, Kusabi, Protege. There we go, MX-5 Miata, whatever the spec it is. NRA. So let's see. 2004. Mazda Miata. I have a feeling this could qualify since it is a pretty tiny car. It probably will. Just gotta wait and see. Oh, it qualifies. Okay. Well, time to start putting some upgrades on this thing. Because for some strange reason, this thing actually qualifies. Let's go ahead and put a turbo on it. Is that a supercharger? 188 compared to 188. I think I'll just stay on turbo. Okay, so 12,000, and I'll slap some. Um, I'll put some brakes and then a flywheel on there. 
clutch, whatever helps acceleration a lot. for the championship. Pretty sure there's still only like five races that we can do. And let's see what opponents we get this time. No pink vits. Disappointing Gran Turismo. I wanted a funny Gran Turismo car. Music's a bit funky, but we vibe with it. Already a much faster and better car for this. this car is gonna end up being probably just a little bit more faster than the one we used last time just because of the newer engines and stuff like the new parts do everything pretty much of this Miata but it's gonna be a lot faster than the car we used last time the Celica I don't even know if that car would actually would that car qualify for this probably not but either way this car is faster than the last car we used but still not all that fast but it's good enough for this like legitimately, I did not even realize. It just like the moment I started recording, I thought about it. Like, would it be out of qualify for this? And then turned out it did. Now I'm using it. So let's see what took up with this. Already went for. Is that a not? This is a Japanese event. Why did I think that was a Volkswagen? I don't know why I thought that was a Volkswagen, but you know what? We're not going to talk about it. Let's see. Can't talk about it. Um, not a lot's really happened. Other than the fact that I've been recording for a little bit, uh, nothing's really happened. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. This race, because you know, something funny could happen. Like I could just fly off the track or for no reason. <laughs> AV cables could start fucking up again. Who knows, but you know what? It's alright. Anyways, I don't even know when we got this Miata, but you know what? Let's put in some work. The buzz that's been in the like past couple of episodes is still here. It's worse when you flip the camera back. I'm not gonna do it anymore, but I did not even realize I was there. You know what? Yeah, it's okay. It is not that loud anymore. It's been good for a while. But I hope it stays like that. Hopefully it doesn't start freaking out again. Yeah, hopefully, I don't have to throw out AV cables. Yeah. Sorry. Hopefully I don't have to throw out AV cables. So 
Now that's our first race at Lotegi Dome. Boom. We're done. Alright. Ten points on the championship. Let's see what our next race is. Autumn Ring Mini, four laps. So a race that was in our last, the last um, event. The music's been going really good, right? The music, I really, I really like the music. I don't know if it's like legal to use, I don't know if it's copyright, but you know what, I don't care at this point. If anyone, was, if anyone wants to leave feedback on what music I should throw in on the jukebox, then just leave a comment down below, see if you can actually recommend me some music to throw in on the jukebox. And there's only like a select list to throw in on the jukebox, but if you want to hear a specific track at some point during this let's play, then just uh, leave a comment, I can throw it on the jukebox. And Let's see, see if we can get to play. So we're already in front. This Miata is slamming competition right now. Hold on, one second. One second. Okay, it's still quiet. <coughs> I had to make sure the buzz was not getting louder. I swear I thought it was, but it's not. Alright, last lap. Okay, we're doing really good right now. is down so let's see what we have for our next track okay 20 point 8 point difference from lead okay thank you for that Next 
trick. Sukaba circuit. Sorry, I was checking my phone for something. <clears throat> anyway, Sukaba circuit. The track we've seen a lot of times before, but never gets old. You know which track I wish would come back in GT4, but I probably wouldn't be able to play it at all. I don't know how many of you know this, but in Grand Turismo 3, there was a song by Snoop Dogg about him talking about playing Grand Turismo and picking what car he wants to drive. It was just so strange and peculiar for it to be there, but it was really funny. I really wish it came back in this, but I don't think it would. I don't even know if I could play it, but if I could, I would have that on the track. I would have them jukebox. Cause that is a, just like it's a it's a good track. I'll tell, I'll say that it's a good song. It was just real funny to have the idea that like, Snoop Dogg just made a song specifically for Grand Turismo. I think this one actually is talking about Grand Turismo. I can't really tell because the car sounds, but you know what? That doesn't matter. I just heard fast core, but I thought. Yeah. I thought I was talking about Grinch as well. We're already doing really good on this race. I'm pretty sure we'll win, no problem. But even if we do, I'm pretty sure if we get any higher than like third, I'm pretty sure we can't lose this uh, championship. something on my phone right now. I'm trying to. To include the lances. I should have tried wall riding that. On the final stretch now. I'm pretty sure this race is ours. Pretty sure if we get first on this race, our our victory in the championship is pretty much guaranteed. We'll go get first no matter what if we win this one, I'm pretty sure. $2,000. Now we gotta go on to race four, which is in the Deep Forest Raceway Reverse. Really good track.
let's see. I like a lot of the cards in the competition. You know, they're not good at all. But they're just funny. Like, the macro... No, not the, the mark. No, this is a micro. I need some micro. The, the card in front of us. At least I think it's what it is. And the bits. The Nissan Cube. It does. It's kind of just like funny, man. The Miata... I mean, I didn't... The conclusion of the video the Miata was able to qualify for this. Until... Right now. When I started recording. But even then, the Miata is still just like... It's such a... It's, a, it's not that funny of a color, you know? There's not a lot of, like, infamy behind it. Like, the bits, the Evo, and the Grand Turismo series. But, you know... It is pretty funny just to think that this car qualifies. So let's see, we got our first lap down with I'd say probably about like maybe a second or two ahead. How much time do we have on our opponents? About three seconds, that's pretty good. I mean to take that turn just that slow, but you know what? We're still winning. That's all that matters. Forces ours. Now let's see. What would the less track be? So let's see what our last track is going to be for this championship. It's actually a championship. So I can say that instead of event. So let's see. Suzuka Circuit East Course. This is not the long version. This is the short version. Or it's just like, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I just, it's been rolling starts for like the entire, it's been rolling starts for the entire championship. The one event that starts that just stopped, right? That startled me. It's the end, like I did not. It's been a little bit since I heard the engines that long. Anyways, as you can see, this. Well, I don't know if we've seen this track before, but it's a lot of just. Uh, it's a lot of curves. It's not all that difficult to drive on. Driving on this track would be a lot better than driving even just one lap of 
the regular Super Circuit course. Because Jesus, the regular Super Circuit course is so long. It's even worse with its twist and turns. But it's fun to drive on when you actually have a good car. Like, I mean, it's not to say the Miata isn't a good car, but a fast car, a good handling car, you know, all that, all that good stuff. But if you have a car like that, that's when it gets really good. Music, music, this, I don't know exactly what track this is, but it's really good right now. Oh yeah, and it has saxophone, it's perfect. So last lap, we have a pretty sure, maybe like, 10 seconds of difference on them. I did not expect that to be right. But you know what, I'll take it. Being right on the money is something that I, I didn't expect to do, but you know what, we take those. You could do off-road stress to position yourself better. You know how it is. I'm pretty sure the pits aren't even open. But I was anxious as hell taking that last turn. Because I thought for a second I was accidentally going to activate going into the pits. And as you can hear, the championship music is going wild. Anyways, nearly like, what, 25,000 just for completing this championship. That was fairly easy. You know, that's pretty good. Anyways, let's see, 67,000, what else do we get? Because you know what else is there? Prize car. Let's see. What prize car do we get? The Honda Life Step Fan 1972. A car that will most likely never get used, but the idea of it being in this game is pretty funny. So with that, we have completed both of the B licensed Japanese events. We've been going to the 80s festival and the 90s challenge. So with that, we're going to wrap it up here. So next time on Gran Turismo 4, we will be taking on the Japanese 80s festival. So I will see you guys then.